Um, obviously, uh, playing tomorrow, Good Friday, a, a little bit different to the, the usual routine, I guess. How how different has it been in training this week? Yeah, I mean, we we took a day off um, earlier than we would normally, but I think training wise, we've we've um, worked them hard. They've they've worked hard themselves, so uh, we're looking forward to tomorrow's game, um, and hopefully, we can um, take what we've done this week into that. Yeah, it's often a, a crucial period, isn't it? The the Easter weekend, two games. So close together. How important do you think? These yeah, two for games us, to be? it's about you know keeping momentum going and, and trying to win the two games over the weekend. If we do that, then you know for us, it's, it's been a good Easter. So that's what we're looking to do. Yeah, I think Older Shot have conceded uh, twelve goals in their last two away games. So Forest Green fans might be turning up tomorrow expecting to see a few goals. Yeah, I think you know from their point of view, um, they need to bounce back, and the manager will you know want a reaction. So. You know, it's not going to be an easy game, and if we turn up thinking that that's going to be the case, then we'll come unstuck. And you know, for us at this stage of the season, we need to make sure we're professional in our performances and give them the respect they deserve. But at the same time, you know, know what we need to to do to win the game. Yeah, obviously, you did a bit of business yesterday, bringing in Lenny Pidgeley uh, for the rest of the season. What do you think he will add to the squad? Well, I think just you know, being around the place the last couple of days, you can see from his experience. Um, vocally, you know, with the boys, and he's been good in the dressing room. So he's a he's a first class keeper. Um, provide good backup if needed, you know, for Stevie and with Johnny and Dale. We've got you know four really good goalkeepers at the club. Yeah, and uh, I think the deadline's today, isn't it, for for loan signings and and free yeah. signings? Um, is that going to be the last piece of business now? Do you think? Or? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't think we're doing more business. We've got a good squad of players. Um, we've not had any injuries, so you know, everyone's fighting for a place and, and we're in a um, good place with with that so uh, I can't see anyone else coming in now Yeah and um, and obviously a couple of players have been away with England C this week um, has that sort of affected your preparations at all? Um, well I think Curtis you know probably could do with the game so for him that's um, worked out well and obviously Keanu has travelled and, and played 70 minutes so um, probably not ideal, but again, you're playing for your country, so um, they probably enjoyed it and, and the environment they was in, and hopefully they'll use that this weekend. Yeah, because obviously um, a couple of Cheltenham players decided not to play, didn't they? But you, you're happy for, for Keanu and, and Curtis to, to play a part? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's, it's down to the gaffer, but you know, me personally, I think you know, if you get selected to play for your, your country, whatever level, I think as a player you want to do that. So uh, I can see where Cheltenham players are coming from. But you know we gave the option to to our boys and and they wanted to play for England and um, you know they've they've done that and um, you know for them that that experience is will live them forever. Mm. And do you think they would be able to play? Because obviously it's a tough schedule anyway, isn't it? Two games <coughs> in four days. Um, they would have played in in Kiev, travelling on the plane on this week. Would they be able to play? I mean, particularly Keanu, who's obviously been a regular recently. Yeah, I mean, you look at it. Probably it's not ideal preparation. Uh, and a game at this stage of the season is probably not what's needed, you know, on top of, the, like you said, the schedule coming up. But, you know, they're fit boys, um, they're young and, and uh, you know, I think they'll be fine. Yeah. And then does rotation come into your thoughts anyway with it being too Yeah, I, I think, you know, like we said before, with the squad of players that we've got, we can rotate around and, and the um, squad stays the same, doesn't weaken. So, you know, if people look tired on Friday uh, and we need to change it, then we'll change it. If, if we feel we need to do it anyway, then we've got players that, that we can do it with. Yeah. Obviously, Curtis scoring as well. Um, how much uh, of an impact would that make on, on AD's decision-making? Yeah. Um, you know, see how we... we have, sort of play and perform on Friday and then you know we reassess it again over the weekend but Kurt scored so pleased for him and Gaff will be pleased for him and, and like I say now it's um, down to him if he gets opportunity over the weekend he's got to make sure he plays well Yeah uh, obviously he's missed out the last couple of games um, could you sort of shed any more light on that because obviously at Gateshead the goalkeeper come on the bench but uh, but it's just sort of led to more speculation I guess after he missed out at trial. Yeah like you said we, we've got a good squad of players unfortunately at some stage of the season people miss out there's been other players that have missed out you know at the start and, and halfway through unfortunately for Kurt you know he's missed out the last couple like you say he's gone away of England and, and uh, put in a good performance and scored so you know he gives himself a shout of being in the squad again over the, the busy weekend. Yeah, and obviously Darren Carter's suspended as well. How much of a, a miss will he be? Yeah, Carter's you know got very good experience, very good player, um, and got eye for goal as well. So yeah, he'll be missed. 
Uh, but we've got players that now probably have been waiting, you know, for an opportunity now to take that chance. So that's down to them now. Yeah, and um, any injury worries? Anthony Jeffrey is he likely to? to yeah, prepared? everyone's fine. So you know, we've got full squad of players to pick from. Uh, difficult choice for the gaffer to pick a 16, um, and there'll be again a few unhappy people that are, you know, not in the 16. But you know, like we said, it's, it's a squad that will get us where we want to go this season, and um, you know, it'll be rotated round. All right, thanks, Jamie. Cheers, Rob. Thank you.